Hi, Miss Lawrence. Great to be in your museum with this fantastic exhibition. I have one question for you. Which is your favorite work and, and why? Well, it's mission impossible to select a favorite work because there are so many. Mm -hmm. But I think this one is a particular one for me. Um, it's actually, I wanted to, to have this one as, as the, the main uh, image for the communication campaign, but finally it was decided otherwise. Yeah. And why I wanted to have this, this image is because it's, uh, it's a very typical Ravel in a way, the way we will know him later. It's also a work that's been done uh, end 50s, uh, end, end 40s, beginning 50s, and you already see the typical elements that will continue to come back later in this work. Um, you see already how the face is disappearing, becoming more lines. We see the, how the, the, the arm is, is modulated, is the whole plasticity of the arm through the typical signature aspect of Havil, which are the stripes. And then, of course, the red arm, which uh, where he really shows that he's breaking with his formal way of painting, but he's really adding something disruptive to the painting. Mm -hmm. and, and so I think the, the composition of the different colors, the way he is tracing his thick lines around the figure, and the, the element of the table, of course, which uh, is going to be very present in a lot of other um, paintings, uh, also knowing that uh, Van, Van Gogh was one of the most important artists to, to Ravel, I think one can clearly see within the, 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 the lines and, and the different things that all these elements um, are present. So the composition, the color, uh, it's of course Zulma, uh, who is, uh, uh, who is uh, the figure here. Um, yeah, I think all these elements together for me, it's really an, uh, an eye catcher. I think it's one of the most beautiful paintings. Also, it's from the collection of the museum, Maclenar um, um, de Leyen. And when I saw it already 20 years ago, it was something that I always kept in my, um, an image that I kept in my heart.